Lucasfilm continues to love their dual titles for the Acolyte, with episodes four and five being day and night. These two episodes are full of holy shit moments, some of which aren't as good on a second viewing, and some of which are still just awesome, especially in night, which is just go, go, go. G'day, I'm RJ. Welcome to the Nerdy Dad channel. Let's talk about the Acolyte episodes day and night. Now, I'm going to kick this off by looking at this week's impact points. Here we go. Kelnaka. Well, this shook me. We don't see many Wookiee Jedi. We've got Gunji over in animation. We've got Boa Yaga in the High Republic books. And I was really looking forward to seeing Kelnaka in live action and his dead off screen. But more importantly for the story, it wasn't May. Because of the shock value and what it means for May's character, this scene definitely had an impact. Although, admittedly, part of the impact on me was disappointment. I wanted to see more Kalnaka. R.I.P. Brutal. I did not expect Jackie to die. I just didn't. Of course, Osha and May are the leads of the show. But I thought Jackie and Yord were major enough secondary characters that they'd have their own arts, but no. They were both brutally cut down by May's as yet unnamed master. Well, I thought Yord had half a chance of dying, but it's Jackie that really caught me off guard. There is no coming back for Sol's Swiss cheese Padawan, R.I.P. One of the Acolytes writers said that they wrote episodes 4 and 5 together. And it shows. Episode 4 left off in this really awkward spot, and it didn't feel like a complete episode. However, as a pair of episodes, they worked really, really well together. And I thoroughly enjoyed them. However, aside from the uh, issue with episode 4 feeling incomplete, I did have a couple of issues with the episode. Having said that, on the balance, let me be clear. I really like these episodes and I'm enjoying the series. Now, what I feel about this series overall is going to depend on what that reveal is as to what happened on Brendel, because that seems to be central to the show. And again, while I'm enjoying it at the moment, I am invested in what happens on Brendel and I really, really need that reveal to be good. The inconsistency of hyperspace and travel times continues to niggle at me. May and Kamir left Olega at the end of episode two, whereas the Jedi went to Coruscant, and yet they all arrive at Kofor at approximately the same time. I know it's a story convenience, but it niggles at me. I mean, in Kenobi, the same thing bugged me when um, Reva and Obi-Wan arrived on Tatooine on the same day. Earlier in this series, in episode two again, you know, the prisoners getting back to Coruscant, while May, it, it all, there just seems to be no consistency with the time it takes to get from one place to another. It's always been there, but in shows like The Acolyte and Kenobi, it's just been made really, really obvious. And to me, it's become a distraction and it is an annoyance. The other thing I'm having trouble with is May and her motivations. This is going to end up either being brilliantly layered writing or just terrible and confusing writing. I'll let you know what my opinion is after this series shakes out. But unfortunately, at the moment, I'm leaning towards terrible and confusing. Don't get me wrong. I liked her change of heart how she was going to turn herself into Kelnaka. And when she got there, my God, the shock that he was already dead. I like that she um, is impersonating her sister and is wound up with Sol while Osha winds up with her master. I like all that. However, her motivations appear to be confused. And while the character is entitled to change her mind, real people change their mind all the time. These quick chops within, and I think the episode is about in real time. So within the space of about, about an hour, she's going, gone from, I'm going to kill the Jedi to, I'm going to turn myself into the Jedi to, I want to be with my sister 
to I'm going to knock my sister out and take her place. And she goes with Soul to, is she back to wanting to kill the Jedi? I don't know. As I said, I could watch another couple of episodes and this turns out to be brilliant. But at the moment, to me, it's just coming across as confused. Back to the positives. Episode five was wall to wall action. And it was strikingly fantastic, heart pounding action at that. There were stakes. They didn't just kill background characters. They killed Yord and Jackie. Oh my God. That was, I could not believe that. That was a holy shit moment when that happened. The action was varied. There's lightsabers and force powers and hand-to-hand -hand combat. And they introduced Cortosis into live action. As an old EU fan, that means so much to me. Um, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed episode five. It was a fun episode, if nothing else. It was a release. And I'm really hoping, now that we have built to this, that we just keep go, go, going for the remaining three episodes. And I know that's not realistic. You're going to have peaks and valleys. So next episode, they're probably going to take it back a notch and have a little more exposition again. But my God, was this episode fun and exciting and such a release for the show and all the characters. And despite my issues with the confusion of May's arc, I like where they left episode five with May on the ship with Master Soul. I can't wait to see what they do carrying the series forward. Now, a, a side note that isn't positive or negative. Um, come here, if that's his real name. May's master. We don't know if he's part of the rule of two lineage of Sith. W what he says to Sol is... But a Jedi like you might call me Sith. Which really isn't definitive one way or the other. Either option I find equally as likely and equally as fascinating. Now, I once again want to call out how much I loved his creative use of cortosis in combat. He headbutted a lightsaber for crying out loud. And I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed episode five. It was just fun from start to finish as a pair of episodes Despite the problems I had with them, I thought day and night were a good pair of episodes for the middle of this series. May the force be with you. This is the Nerdy Dad, signing out.